thousand ones, empaths. The narcissist tries to stain your consciousness. This is what they try to do, especially towards the end of the relationship, right? They want to stain your consciousness. The narcissist wants you to believe you were never good enough, but it's far from the truth. It's so far from the truth. You know, they, they wanted to put this stain on your mind, soul, spirit, that you were not good enough. They wanted to make you feel like you weren't good enough. And you've got to understand, this was a premeditated plan that they'd done a lot of thought. A lot of thought took place. This was not just a quick whim. This was not just, you know, a random intrusive thought. This was a premeditated, sinister plan to make you feel that you're not good enough. They, 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 they seek and destroy. They were out to seek and destroy and this was always this, their intentions from when they met you even when they were building you up even when they were love bombing you they were they were they were building you up and building you up and building you until they're about to pull the rug from underneath your feet your feet and make you go crashing down they were always anticipating this move of making you believe you're not good enough and it comes from deep within inside the core of the narcissist. When we explore the core of the narcissist, they have very low self-esteem, very low self-worth. They don't think very highly of themselves. I know on the exterior they're grandiose. They think they, they act like they're the best thing since sliced bread. I know that. But when we're exploring the core of the narcissist, deep in the core of the narcissist, right? They have low self-esteem. They have low self-worth. They don't think highly of themselves. And they wanted to bring you, they wanted to knock you down to that level. So to make themselves feel better than you is to make you feel that you're worse than them, right? That you're no better than them. That's basically, it's like a game that they're playing. That's what they're doing. So while, you know, they want you to believe you're not, you're not good enough for them. And we know it's far from the truth. I'll make sure you know it's far from the truth. But they're kind of fighting this, this war inside them. Because the more that they're around you and they see these positive traits in you, they see that you're truthful, say. They see you're honest, they see you're kind, they see you're empathetic, they see you're loving, they see you're pure, right? The more that they see these traits, is the worse and worse and worse they feel about themselves. So, they're in a catch-22 situation. It's either be around your company, right? Be around your company and feel bad about themselves, or make you feel just as bad as they do, without letting you know that, it's really because they feel bad, because misery loves company and all of that, right? So, this is what their, their, their plan is to do, and it's a very premeditated plan. It, they've put a lot of thought into it. They, they, they knew they was always going to get to this stage. They always get to this stage, because they knew when they was gassing your head up, right? As I would say, gassing your head up, inflating your ego... Love bombing you, whatever you want to call it, right? You know, they're gassing you up, right? And it's not that it's not that they was telling you um ultimate lies, so to speak. They was actually mirroring you and pointing out good qualities at you and mirroring back to you. Every time they were mirroring back to you what you mirror what you showed them, what you are, you know. So you showed Hi, I'm an honest, loving person. They mirrored back to you. Hi, I'm an honest, loving person. And it went back and forth, back and forth like this, right? So you felt like there was reciprocity. You felt like there was reciprocation. But this was all uh, invalidated from the time they make the decision to pull the rug from underneath your feet and make you come crashing down. The moment that they wanted to actually show their real face, the moment they couldn't bear being around someone who's so kind and loving and pure. Right? They couldn't bear being around you because you made them feel bad about themselves. The longer they spent around you and the longer they kept this 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 um this mirage up, right? Um of pretending that they're something they're not, 
the worse and worse they felt about themselves on a daily basis. On a daily basis, they went through this. So for all those times, you know, those, those so-called good times, inverted commas, that I say is the worst time in the relationship because you were so asleep, right? You know, I always say that. The worst time in the relationship was the best time in the relationship because you were so asleep to the abuse. And the best time is when you, you hit that point when, you're, when, when you feel like you're at your worst because you've awoken. And I say that's the best time in the relationship, the strongest time in the relationship, when you feel at your weakest and at your lowest. Um, they, they, they wanted to keep you... Um, they didn't want to... They wanted to make sure that you uh, finally... Basically, they wanted to make sure that you finally will come crashing, tumbling down. They basically wanted to make sure they finally finish you off. The narcissist wanted to make you believe you were never good enough, right? So after all of the inflation and it's making them feel so bad in themselves, it's making them feel so bad every day by living with you, keeping this mirage up, time ticked a little tick too over and they, they, they unmasked. They couldn't contain it. As I said, their mask is like a ship sailing along the ocean. And their 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 unconscious or their true identity is like the ocean, and throughout the relationship there was holes appearing in the boat, in the deck of the boat, and they tried to patch up these holes constantly. You can look back in retrospect to the relationship; they were constantly trying to repair the deck. They were constantly trying to stop water seeping into the deck, you know. And you didn't realize this boat was sinking. You're heading, you're heading along deep in, way out in the ocean, far from any land, and this boat is sinking, and they were hiding it from you that this boat was sinking. And what I'm talking about, so, so you can, just to clarify, the boat sinking is the unmasking happening, right? The boat sinking, the water seeping in beneath the cracks is the unmasking. That's why you saw little streaks of behavior from them from time to time. Um, of untoward behavior, you know, nasty behavior, nasty streaks. You saw little subtle hints and hues of this 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 parasite, like um, till eventually they wanted to. They, they they went full out, seek and destroy, make you feel as like you're nothing, and I'm better than you. And you know what? That's when they felt satisfied. So they kind of delayed their whole. Um, this is why after a relationship Their heads are cloud nine Right After a relationship After a discard Their heads are in the cloud nine Right It doesn't last But I'm trying to say It's because they've been uh, Holding back And 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 containing it So the pressure's been building So eventually when the pressure erupts Right When it erupts They feel euphoric They feel free they feel liberated. They feel like they're on cloud nine. They feel like, yes, I'm better than you. And if you don't see beneath the veil, you'll believe that you're less than them. You'll believe, oh, I don't deserve them. Oh, they don't love me no more. Oh, they don't want me no more. Listen, this person never, this person never knew what love was from the beginning day you met them. Right? I don't care if this is a family member, uh, colleague, friend, relationship partner. They never knew what love is. We need love in all relationships, whether it's family um, friends, we need love in all relationships. We, to, we need empathy in all relationships for them to be uh, sustainable relationships. And these lot never they 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 was just keeping it under the under the grid. You know, they was keeping it under the grid. You know, they was hiding it very well. But there was cracks. There was there was breaks in that deck of the boat, and the water was seeping in. And I'm sorry, but when I look back in retrospect. I see some, I see so many red flags that I ignored. So many red flags that I ignored. And that was the unmasking happening, you know. What's that story? Um, is, it, is it when he turns into a werewolf or? It's one, I think it's, a, it's an old film. I think it's like a slight romantic film or something. But like he, he he's a werewolf or something, Kenan. When, 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 or like. 
or like Cinderella even, you know, like Cinderella or the, this werewolf story, you know, when, when the clock ticks 12 or something and then he has to hide and he can't be at the ball and he can't be at the dance because he's going to start growing the claws and fur is going to start coming out his face. That's basically what it's like with these narcissists, right? They, they, they're containing the inevitable from happening, which is them unmasking, is them showing their true colours and they try so hard to contain it. And they can't, it's out of their control. And it's down to God. God blinds them and makes them not be able to control it anymore. They want to control it. You've got to understand these narcissists that were in your life would have spent the rest of their lives with you. Happily, not happily ever after, but they would have spent the rest of their lives with you. Miserably ever after. But they would have, they would have stayed around. The reason why they didn't stay around is because they could no longer contain what they needed to contain which is their true nature beneath the mask, right? They could no longer contain that true nature that dwelled beneath the mask, right? So that's why they choose this option. Like they premeditated from the beginning. They knew from the beginning this was going to happen. That's why they've always got in the back of their minds in this premeditated plan that I want, I'm going to make them believe they're not good enough for me. You know, but trust me, it's far from the truth. So if any of you feel like you're not good enough for the narcissist, it's a lie. Do not believe it. Do not believe it for one second that you're not good enough for the narcissist. Do not believe their fabricated bullshit stories. Their, all of their, whatever they told you the relationship ended over. Do you know what I'm saying? Trust me, just do not believe any of it. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.